Welcome everybody to the Water Rings webinar at Twisted Sage Studios. As always, I'm your host, Brian Besco. Um, today we're talking about the water rings. We have several water rings that we have available at Twisted Sage Studios, um, including the silver. So we'll begin talking about um, the use of water or the use of tensor rings with your water. Now, tensor rings in general, because they are creating a tensor field, which again, if you're new to the uh, this technology, tensor fields are created with um, the copper wire that is folded, twisted, brought back on itself, cut into a sacred measurement, is basically creating a piezoelectric powered antenna. Um, this specific ring here is the 333 megahertz ring, which oscillates at the uh, frequency of 332.9 megahertz, uh, which we simply call the 333 ring. It's the one that's in Dancing with Water, which they call the Earth Resonance Ring. So a little bit about the tensor fields. So the tensor rings are creating a column of energy that comes out both sides in the shape of a circle, so it's a column. Within this column, it does restructuring of electromagnetics, um, water, all kinds of fun stuff, consciousness, but one of the ring, one of the uses that we see most profoundly and that we can study scientifically is the restructuring of water. Now, within a tensor field, basically you put water within this field and when you do it is creating a high spin rate to the water molecule now it creates such a high spin rate to the water molecule that basically it creates ormus um, such as white powdered gold which scientifically in the lab it makes water lighter in weight because it's putting such a high spin rate to the water molecule that it oscillates in and out of this physical reality, uh, just like Ormus, white powder gold. So with the, the creating of that high spin rate of the water molecule, that is also restructuring the water molecule so that it is, um, again, in the Dances with Water book, they walk you through everything for... Um, explaining the restructuring aspect, which is basically making water more of a crystalline structure. It's unclumping it. When that occurs, several things happen. Um, one, the, the taste and feel of the water change, but also it is balancing the pH of water. Um, so as far as working with the physical aspect of water, the tensor rings usually require being within this column of energy for anywhere from four to six hours, depending on the, the quality of your water. Now, a really fun experiment that I always tell people to do with the water rings is taking two glasses of water, especially tap water that has all the minerals and the other additives in it, and putting a glass of water, just setting it right with the side of this ring so that the, so that the water is within the column of energy, and another glass of water outside of this ring, letting it set overnight and then drinking that water and you can taste and feel a difference within that water. Um, really is a phenomenal way for, for us to wrap our brains around something that's actually happening within that water. Um, another phenomenal um, thing you can see with water if you're not familiar with Dr. Emoto's work, please do look up Dr. Emoto's work on water. Now, that is something that when I first started looking into energetics, something that was very tangible. And his work basically shows how they, they flash freeze and use a special electron microscope to look at water in its flash frozen state. And when you send emotions of positive emotions of like love, gratitude, happiness, joy, things like that to the water, the water responds by becoming just these beautiful snowflake crystalline structures. And then on the opposite spectrum, they took water and they 
uh, you would send the emotions of anger, hate, fear, all those lower vibration emotions into water. And water would respond by having just these discombobulated, ugly looking little geometries within the water when they did the testing with Dr. Emoto. So really a phenomenal way to see how just even our emotions can affect water. Now with the tensor fields, we're talking about something even beyond emotions. We're talking even higher frequencies. Um, with the, the tensor rings, they create the highest piezoelectric property out of anything tested. Now that does phenomenal things with the water as well. Um, so physically, the tensor rings working with water is super amazing. Um, but some of the things that when we create the tensor rings, really it is what goes in the tensor field, whereas all the magic and miracles take place. So within this tensor field of this water ring, you would find the consciousness of water. That is what we do here at Twisted Sage Studios with the tools that we work with is we work with consciousness. So basically the rings, of course, when you hold on to the ring, it's seen that your higher soul self is the one who is the filter for whatever comes through these rings for whatever work that you do within the tensor fields. That's the same with water. When you put water inside of here, it's doing that higher connection with water. It's bringing in that more consciousness of the water. Um, also within these tensor rings, especially this earth resonance ring um, that we create and sell, and that is sold by danceswithwater.com as well, um, dancingwithwater.com. This particular earth resonance ring contains not only the consciousness of water, the other earth elementals like air, fire, ether, um, but it's also containing the frequencies and properties of all the plant, crystal, and mineral kingdoms of this planet. That's pretty hefty right there because working with your water, you can add in different crystals, you can add in the healing energy of plants, um, all of that you can do through working with the ring, which we'll discuss a little bit later on here in the webinar. <clears throat> excuse me, is how to work energetically with the ring to interface with the water because these are interfacing tools. So with the, um, with the etheric aspect of the rings, again, with all those frequencies and properties, we also have other things like the different rays of source light. Um, let's see, just so much can come through these rings that if they were just a standard frequency emitter, like let's say you have an orgone charging plate and that charging plate is just emitting all these frequencies, it's not working with the consciousness of water. It's not working with any consciousness besides the crystals that are within it. So the tensor fields act as a toolbox for whatever it is that we're working with to bring through whatever is in that highest and best. So with water, it's going to bring through and impart whatever frequencies are the highest and best for the water. When we start working with their tensor rings and the water, then it's going to start imparting in the frequencies and properties of what is best for us. Now we can consciously do this by simply, you know, use this wonderful Aquafina water here that I have for a prop. Um, you can use the tensor fields, again by placing over top of your water or else you can use it to speak into your water now again with dr emoto's work and also what they speak about in dancing with water the new science of water book is that basically you can communicate with the water you can impart in um, you know those words those emotions uh, dances with water dancing with water talks about putting in um, you know music or talking with your water now the tensor rings are going to create an interface. This interface is basically like a little telephone to the water, a way to amplify what we speak into it. Um, and also to help bring through frequencies and properties of different plants, minerals, light rays, anything that's within your imagination. Basically we have already instilled within the tensor rings. So let's say you want to use, um, <clears throat> Uh, an herb 
or a crystal. Let's say, let's take an herb. We, we want to use bergamot, um, a plant, to impart the frequencies and properties of that into our water. We simply use the water ring. We speak to the water, bergamot. We put the ring over the water, and that is imparting those subtle energies, the frequencies and properties of that bergamot into the water. So really phenomenal way to start working with water as the healing, uh, as, as, as the healing modality that it is all on its own. Um, we can actually, you know, if, if we just want to do something generic, like let's say we want all the highest and best frequencies and properties in the water. We speak that into it. It's an intention. Um, again, this stuff is working with our higher consciousness, the higher consciousness of water. So they'll be the ones that decide what frequencies and properties are brought into the water. Really a phenomenal way to consciously start working with the water. So we have several different water rings, not just this 333 megahertz earth resonance ring, which this one comes, the smaller version, in this smaller set this trio set. Now within this trio, that 333 was this middle sized ring. Phenomenal ring. The outer ring is the golden fire. Now this golden fire ring, we're seeing that it is connecting even higher with water. It is bringing in that original divine blueprint of water, um, which basically means that it is bringing water to the state before it took on everything that it did on the planet because water has memory. It has consciousness. Um, so everything that water has been, everything that is picked up along the way, the golden fire ring will clear that it'll bring water back to that original crystalline structure blueprint. Um, also the golden fire, because if you know of the golden fire rings, it brings through a lot of other frequencies, properties. Um, it's bringing through, you know, that sacred heart energy. Um, also, it contains all the frequencies and properties of everything before. So if you have just one ring, the golden fire ring, it contains everything that the 333 does. Um, so the golden fire ring is the one that we send off in a lot of our packages, like the energetic transformation package. You would actually receive this particular ring right here, um, this golden fire ring. Now, another one of the rings in this trio, the smallest one in the personal trio, is the regeneration ring. Now, the regeneration ring is one that is fairly new. It's only about a year old. It is something that... Um, the gals at Dancing with Water, myself, my sister, Slim Sperling, the gentleman who originally brought back these tools in our lifetime, and Bill Reed, another one of the gentlemen who, who assisted Slim on the creation of these tools. Well, the six of us got together, even though Slim and Bill are crossed on on the other side, we all six got together and we created, co-created the regeneration rings. Now, the regeneration ring, when you're using it with water by itself, um, the regeneration ring is taking everything even to its higher aspect. So what we're seeing with water within the regeneration ring field is that it is actually moving it to even more of its, its higher aspect, its blueprint before it came to the earth. Because we see water as consciousness, as coming to the earth to assist with the earth, with humanity, with all of us here. And so as water, before it came to the planet, this is where it is taking that water back to, is back to its higher aspect, kind of like the soul of water. So when you bring all of these together, it is creating more than just the parts. All the parts are coming through um, you know, dancing with water, they refer to the 333 earth resonance ring as being the more the grounding one for the water. Then we have the golden fire, which is doing all the clearing, the activations 
and then the earth or the regeneration ring, which has taken things even to its higher aspect. With the three together, we call the harmonic creation field. Now with the harmonic creation field, and when we're working with water, it's, it's even a higher way to work with the water. Basically, when we use the harmonic creation field and we put the water within this field, basically we can speak into this field and ask for what it is to be imparted and carried with the water. So using this passively by just simply setting your water within the rings is phenomenal. Um, it, within a few hours, it's going to charge your water, activate it, um, restructure it physically, as well as doing all the clearing work for the water um, all the way back to its origins. But because this harmonic creation field, we also call it that, that you can actually start working with water within this field and your consciousness simply by voicing into the field to the water the different things that you're requesting it to bring through for you. The healing, the clearings, everything is imparted onto the water. And again, water is a phenomenal way for us to receive that healing energy. It goes into every physical cell of the body and it carries that energy when we drink it. So the other set of harmonic creation field trio rings we have is the home set, this larger set. Now, and you can look on the product page on the website to see which rings are which they're listed there. But for this larger set, the outside one is the regeneration ring. Very handy, fits over most people's heads, wear it around the neck, does great things to the body, aligning, connecting, balancing, grounding. The next one, the middle ring, is the golden fire. Again, a phenomenal ring that you can use for just about everything. The golden fire rings are for more than just water. So the two golden fire rings that we have can be used interchangeably with water, with electromagnetics, with your own, with your own personal expansion, growth, and clearing. Golden fire is phenomenal. The smallest one of the trio of the home trio is the earth resonance ring, the 333 megahertz earth resonance ring. Now, again, this is a very versatile set, the harmonic creation field trio. Um, my sister Brenda and I have actually put out um, some, some different, well, actually Brenda's channeled some information on the harmonic creation field trio and how we use it. So basically we use it not for water, but we're using it for the consciousness work, for the clearing work. Um, because this specific set is bringing in all of our highest aspects, so grounding, connecting, clearing, holding such a high space for us. Um, so if you look up the harmonic creation field trio, this water set, there is more information about it and how we use it. It's actually the set of three rings that I have here as well. The smaller set, the, um, the gateway pendant, we call it the gateway pendant, the gateway to the soul. So again, you can be a very versatile set of tools, the water rings. So some of the water rings, um, well, let's see a question that we get a lot with the water rings is that can you use these on more than just a small container of water something that fits within this column and the answer is yes you can actually use these these smaller rings can be used on larger containers of water because it is working with the water um, basically water is such a conscious element and that if you are charging the particles that are just within this column of energy within that container that spreads out it's communicated and it goes throughout the entire larger container of water um, and so that brings up a question here that carol has is it possible to use these rings on large bodies of water such as lakes rivers through setting intentions of the ring with the body of water and it is um, you know, there's a lot of people who will put these rings, especially in springs at the beginning of rivers, like out at Mount Shasta. Um, there is a place right there in town where 
people harvest water all the time for themselves. And so many people do a lot of energy work there because as the, the water is coming out of the ground and it's flowing down the river, it is affecting everybody that, that uses that water. And yes, you can use the rings on larger bodies of water. Um, we have people that use them on swimming pools and hot tubs. Uh, there's a lot of people who, who are trying to use these in place of salts and chemicals. Now, one thing about putting rings directly into water is that we don't want to put it into um, containers of water that we ingest because we can get too much copper when we orally ingest the water that's the, the copper ring water. Now, yes, the Ayurvedic stuff, they have used copper vessels for thousands of years and they drink the water, the copper water. Now, you can certainly use the, cop, the rings in your water, but you would just have to muscle test every day to ensure that you're not ingesting too much copper. So that's why we suggest putting them outside of the vessels. And it can be any material. It'll go through steel, glass, plastic, doesn't matter. And of course, it's best not to use plastic with water anyway. But if you need to, use a ring with it for sure. Um, so as far, again, as using it with larger bodies of water, it is going to communicate throughout the water. Um, and, and especially, yeah, talking with the water, using your intentions and working with the water, bringing your light to it, bringing the energy of the rings to it is phenomenal and can certainly shift things. Um, some more about the water rings. Let's see. We have the other water ring we have is the silver ring. Now, the silver is the one that you can actually put directly into your water container. Um, the two inch golden fire ring is what this is. <clears throat> so the golden fire ring that I put within my container of water, I put in there about 18 months ago. And of course, silver, just like copper, silver is an antimicrobial. They used to put silver dollars in milk back in the wagon train days in the United States to keep, um, to keep the bioactivity down in the milk. Um, so with my drinking vessel here, I have not had to rinse this in 18 months. It just does not allow that bacterial growth to occur in there. And that is partially because of the silver, the, the antimicrobial, but also because of the tensor fields. And of course, I have a regeneration ring right here on the top. Um, so when you're using the silver ring, it imparts into the water even quicker because it has a, a direct connection with the ring. So we've noted that we take our bottle of water, dump in some Aquafina into here, and within a few minutes, it changes the Aquafina water into something that tastes and feels good. Um, silver water rings, pretty amazing. So anyway, with the water rings, um, there is more information in the Dancing with Water book. Again, this is a phenomenal book. You can also go to their website at dancingwithwater.com. Now also on the product page of the water rings, of ours, you'll also see a video that MJ Pangnam did, and that's uh, the, one of the co-authors of the Dancing with Water book. And she discusses the Harmonic Creation Field Trio in their observations and their uses with these rings as well. So I do encourage you to do a little bit of study in there too um, on the Dancing with Water website book or their videos. They bring through some great information. And let's see if we have any other questions coming up here. All right. So no questions as of yet. Um, and trying to think of any other. Yes, um, there are some other things that we can do with the rings. So if you create like, let's say, an altar with your rings, an altar where you have especially this home set setting, 
then you have your water within the rings. You can put other things within these rings, such as crystals. You can put that directly within the, the column of energy. And within this column of energy, then, it is going to impart the energetic of this crystal also into the water. That's why we make the water coasters at Twisted Sage, is that we take powdered shungite and we put that in the base of the water coaster. Then we put three Anchi crystals, and Anchi crystals are also discussed in Dancing with Water, as well as purple lapidolite. And so all of those different crystals and the energy of the Hedica, because they're within this column of energy, they are transmitted into the water, which is within this column. So a lot of people do make those altars for their water. And they'll basically just have their water container sitting within the center and they'll place all their different crystals, supplements, herbs, everything within this column. And that imparts it from a physical to an energetic into the water. Or again, you can simply voice your intention into that field, especially when you have the three rings together, the harmonic creation field. Within that field, you can simply just voice into that field what you wish to impart into the water. So it's pretty phenomenal stuff what these tools are doing with the water, what the tensor fields are doing with the water, as well as what our specific tools here at Twist to Save Studios are doing with water, with the consciousness of water. Um, again, please check out dancingwithwater.com. Phenomenal stuff there. And we'd love to hear more feedback on the water rings. Um, do check out our testimonial page. There's some great things that people are saying about the water. Um, and just try it yourself because that really is a phenomenal way for us to taste, feel, to get the tangibleness of what these tools are doing with water because you can tangibly taste it and feel it. All right. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next time.